Want to one-shot everything Mayhem 1, 2, 3, and 4? It doesn't matter what comes your way, you'll be one-shotting everything. Not even only ads, but also bosses. Well, let's find out with this Boomtastic Amara build. Esava, this is LazerBoard and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Boomtastic Amara build that's going to have you one-shotting everything. Now we came into Slaughter Shaft trying to test it out, see how fast we were able to kill enemies and this build guys automatically wrecks. It's going to be a build that's going to be centered on one particular weapon and also us having different sets of armor and gear to play around with the particular weapon we're using. Now we are going to have all different gear that we're going to be switching around which I'll explain once we get into the gear. But before we get started with the armor and the build, let's go ahead and try to get this video to 200 likes and I'll upload this save file on my Discord channel so you guys can automatically download it. So without further ado, let's jump into the build. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the build. We're going to get started with the Fist of the Element and we're going to be dumping 5 points into Anima. And that's going to give us really good stuff of status effect and status effect duration, which is going to be really important. And action skill status effect damage. So our action skill is going to be doing additional status effect damage, which is fundamental for this particular build, as I'll explain why once we get a little bit further within the video. Then we're going to be dumping a total of three points into steady hand. It's going to give us weapon handling inaccuracy. Pretty important, especially based on the item that we're going to be running. And then we're going to dump one point into infusion this is going to convert a portion of the damage we deal with our weapon into our action skill element so if we want to run corrosive if we want to run shock or fire then we'll be able to do that and our weapon will be able to output that even though our weapon is not that particular element then we have a total of five points into tempest and what this is going to allow us to do it's going to increase the damage we do with our elemental damage and shock damage is further increased this is really important based on the enemies that we're fighting on the you know kind of all the new stuff like the maliwang raid or the stuff that we're fighting in the new uh, moxie heist so it's really effective next we're going to be dumping two points into wildfire what this is going to do it's going to apply the status effect to an enemy and it has a chance to spread on to nearby enemies which is also really important based on the weapon we're using then we're going to be dumping one point into Dread. What this is going to do is going to give Amara increased gun damage once we grasp an enemy. And uh, it's going to ask, actually cause us to, when that enemy is grasped, it's going to automatically cause our weapon to currently reload, which is really, really good. And then we have a total of three points into Indiscriminate. What this is going to do, it's going to allow the bullets to ricochet. And once again, this is fundamental to the build because this is going to allow us to kill multiple enemies. And when I say kill multiple enemies, I mean one shot multiple enemies. Then we're going to be dumping one point into deep well and also five points into sustainment. Did I mention what deep well does? Actually, deep well is just going to increase our magazine size. Really important for this build. Sustainment, what it's going to do, Amara's going to gain a lifesteal whenever she deals elemental damage. And since our weapon's going to be doing elemental damage the majority of the time, it's going to be fundamental that we're going to be getting this lifesteal helping us to give us that nice survivability. Even though you probably will be going down with this build, but you will be one-shotting everything. So you'll be able to get back from the dead, you know, back from heaven really fast. And then we're going to be dumping one point into Forceful Expression. Once again, it's going to deal bonus elemental damage based on our action skill element. Alright, so now on to the blue tree. Now we're going to dump in a couple of points into the Mystical Assault. You're probably wondering why you're going green tree. And I'll explain why a little bit further once we get into the gear. We're going to be dumping one point into Do Harm. This is going to give us Rush and... Uh, this you know, it's, we're not getting a lot of it, but we are gonna. It's gonna be beneficial once it procs. So it's gonna allow us to consume one rush, and uh, action skill damage is gonna be temporarily increased. We're gonna be dumping three points into fast hand. The reason we're dumping a lot here is because reload speed is very important, and uh, especially for this particular weapon. So we want to make sure we have that fast reload. Then we're gonna be dumping one point into violent tempest. What this is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to apply another rush of stack and this is going to affect the status effect chance. So we're just dumping one point, not that much. We're going to be dumping one point into Alacracy. What this is going to do, is once again, increase our reload speed, which is important and fundamental. Uh, then we're going to be dumping three points into Transcend. What this is going to do, it's going to give us uh, accuracy and critical hit damage for a few seconds, which is going to be very important, especially when we have those enemies grasped. It's going to allow us to actually do a ton of damage as we hit those crit shots. Then we're going to be dumping five points into Restless. What this is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to do our action skill really, really fast. Or, you know, it's going to allow us to get our action skill back. So it's going to be very fundamental. 
one point into Ascendant. All action skill augments are increased, which is really good. Then we're going to be dumping three points into From Rest. And what this is going to do, it's going to gain improved fire rate and charge time. Really, really important, guys, that we get this part. This is going to help us a lot financially with the, the weapon we're going to primarily be kind of downing or rolling with. So it's going to be very important. And last point, three points we're jumping into Wrath. It's going to increase our gain damage and also the effect it's going to get increased as well. And as far as what we're picking up, we're going to be picking up this one right here, which is uh, uh, Stillness of Mind. This is actually pretty good. What it's going to do, it's going to give us action skill cooldown. Now, if for some reason you feel that you're not too tanky and you want to make sure you're kind of staying alive very often, you're probably going to, going to go with Soul Slap. And this is going to allow you to get health after you grasp enemies. So it's going to be kind of dependent on you. Other than that, you're going to also going to go with this one ties that bind this is what's going to make everything really good what's going to do it's going to lock down enemies and link enemies that are around that enemy and that's going to help us one shot multiple enemies as you guys have seen in the clips we're doing well that's what we have as far as the uh, skill tree let's go ahead and jump into the gear all right so here we are guys taking a look at the gear we are running the ion cannon guys this thing is a monster this thing is really really good Highly recommend you guys pick this up. Right now, as you guys are seeing right there in my gear, I just have one equipped because my other characters are running other ones and uh, I have builds for them as well. So if you guys are playing on Moe's, Flag, Sane, I will have one-shot builds uh, focusing on the Ion Cannon. But if we get this video to 200 likes, I will have all my Ion Cannons within this particular save. They have all the elements. We have Corrosive, we have Fire, we have Non-Elemental Damage. And we have, of course, cryo damage. So I will be adding those to the save file. I just wanted to have one to tell you guys exactly what's going on here. Basically, this is, when, this is what's going to allow us to one-shot everything. And not just one-shot one thing, but one-shot multiple enemies. The way you want to play with this is going to be very interesting. And I'll explain a little bit further in the video how you want to play it and, you know, what's more optimal. So you want to make sure you have yourselves a ion cannon. Uh, any element is really good, but the best ones, of course, are non-elemental. Uh, you're going to definitely want to have a cryo one and a corrosive one. Those are like the main ones you want to have. And uh, this is what's going to keep everything rocking and rolling. You're going to be able to one shot almost anything. And what we have here is that there's a couple of anointments you could go with this one. You could either go with the one I have on action skill and weapon damage is increased by 100%. So what you're going to want to do is face grasp the ground. So you could activate your action skill end and then face grasp, right? So that's going to allow you to get 100% damage. Uh, on that face grass enemy because you already did your action skill and your action skill you're doing it twice so that's going to be helpful for that for some reason if you guys don't feel like you want to be face grasping the ground you go on action skill and while face grass increase uh i believe is charge time and this is going to allow you to shoot this one almost instantly it's going to automatically charge and you don't have to have to hold it down for too long for it to charge up so that's a, actually a really good one to have especially for this particular build it's still going to allow you to one shot things uh, this is just to get a little bit more damage when you're bossing. So either or are going to work very well financially. The next one you could probably go is on action skill and you get an element and uh, that could be corrosive cryo. That could be very beneficial as well. So it's going to I'm going to leave it up to you. I like this one because I don't mind face grasping the ground to get that additional 100 percent. But that's going to be up to you. The next weapon we're using right here is the Maggie. And the Maggie, once again, it's a, like one of my go-to weapons. It's always good to have it there. Just in case you want to finish out, like there's one little ad running around that just doesn't want to die. You just pretty much kill him with the Maggie. And uh, other than that, these other two slots, you're going to want to go with a non-elemental ion cannon and a corrosive ion cannon. And that's pretty much what you want to have in this particular build. Now, what's allowing us to do this build effectively is this, the Big Boom Blaster. The reason why we are running the Big Boom Blaster and not a Transformer, a Transformer will give us more survivability. The Big Boom Blaster, what it does, it gives us our ammo back. So that's the main reason why we're running this. So it's going to allow us to have unlimited ammo in this one-shot build combo. So whether we do Shatter Staff, whether we do the Maliwang Raid, we will never be running out of ammo because as long as uh, we're getting shot and our shields are getting depleted, it's going to be dropping a little pod that's going to give us a chance to restore a shield, a grenade, and heavy ammo, which makes it really, really good. So definitely that's the reason we're running this one. And it's still a pretty good build, even though, like I said, if you do go down, you're still going to be able to one-shot and get back up uh, back up to life and come back from heaven with your life seal. So you should be good with that. Next thing we're running is a recurring hex. And uh, we have this one on action skill and gain 50 corrosive damage. 
And this one is running with Cryo. We like to have that double combo just because we want to have that extra elemental damage. And I'll go a little bit more into elemental damage once I take a look at the mod. Because as you see right there, I don't have a class mod, but I'll explain why uh, you want to run certain class mods. So that is what we're running for the uh, grenade. Now for the sh uh, the artifact, we're running the projectile idol. And uh, the elemental projectile idol is this, while suffering of an element effect, increase your damage with the same element. It is really important because you're going to be able to cause damage to yourself and get elemental damage this way. And I will explain as soon as we get into the class mod. The main reason I'm running this one is because I, this one has really good stats for me. It has action skill cooldown. It has plus 15 weapon reload speed, which helps me with my ion cannon. And that plus 40% magazine size. The only thing I wish I had here was a instead of the reload speed, a charge, you know, charge speed. Which would make my ion cannon shoot a little bit faster and kind of make this a god roll. So... That is the only thing I'm missing. Now onto the class mods. So for the class mods, the current one that I am running uh, as of right now is uh, the Golden Rule. That's what I was running for this particular, for the gameplay. This one gives me plus 25 weapon damage, plus 31 action skill cooldown, and plus 10 Vlad off weapon damage. So that, you know, my rockets Vlad off. So I'm getting an additional 35% weapon damage right here just by using the rocket launcher. Now, the thing with this one, what this is going to do, it's going to, whenever whenever, whenever an enemy is damaged, Amara gains increased action skill cooldown rate for a few seconds. This is really good for helping you get your action skill back. But if you want to get something optimal, I would say if you're going to be using this one, use this for mobbing. But if you're going to be going for killing bosses, you're going to want to use something else. And I'll explain something in regards to these uh, action skills. So if you guys notice right here, I dumped a total of, uh, I didn't dump no points here on my, um, when I did my build, my, uh, you know, my build here, you saw that I didn't dump no points into this one right here, which is laid bare, which is going to do its enemies take increased damage from all sources. The reason why is because this is the class mode I was running and this automatically gives me three. So I don't have to dump any points in here in order for me to, uh, in order for me to actually proc this action skill, right? Now, if you are not running this one and you're going to use this more as a boss killing build, what you're going to want to do is change the golden rule and go from the golden rule and change it to the spiritual driver. What this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to, uh, activate, um, action skills, right? When you apply status effect to yourself. So basically, when you face grasp the ground, it's going to automatically apply that status effect to you guys. And it's going to increase your gun damage and increase uh, your at your speed, right? This is actually a pretty good mod as well. It has really good splash damage, grenade damage, and weapon magazine size. But the only difference you would do on the actual skill tree here is you would just dump one point here. And remove the point of this one right here. of infusion. So do not do infusion. And add a point into Laid Bear. And that's pretty much the build you want to have if you are running the Spiritual Driver. Once again, I'll include the Spiritual Driver and the Golden Rule as part of the save file. So do keep that in mind. But overall, in general, guys, that is the one-shot build. Like I said, depending on which uh, kind of class mod you run with, you're going to want to face grass the ground. And then grass the enemy and shoot the enemy. And you're pretty much one-shot everything that links up. Or you could just face grass, apply that elemental status effect to you guys and you guys should be good to go as well as you guys will one be one shotting almost everything in the game as you guys are seeing here in the gameplay don't forget guys if you're running on a flak most sane i will have one shot builds for you guys so definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for that and don't forget for all things borderlands keep it locked on this channel drop a like share this video with your friends and i will catch you guys on the next video